Hello, this is Channel Learn Log, and I'm back with another video on quadrilaterals. But in this video, we are going to practice the questions of quadrilateral, how they are going to come in exams. So, and also about the rules on quadrilateral, I will provide the link of that video in the description. You can read it from there. You can learn it from there. So, without wasting any time, let's just quickly move on to questions. And let's just take only the five minutes of your life and explain to you what are quadrilaterals and how to attempt their questions. So let's continue. The rules of quadrilateral, I'm saying it again. I explained it already in the previous video. Okay. So you can click the link and watch that video. So first question is, find the value of X in each of these figures give reason. This angle is given and this is exterior angle and here we have to find x. If you have watched my previous videos, I have told you that vertically opposite angles are equal. It means if this is 112, this is also 112 degree. And also, this is parallelogram. So in parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. So x is also 112 degrees. Let me a little bit zoom it so that you can watch it clearly. Next is, this is rectangle. And in rectangle, basically diagonals are also equal and they bisect each other at 90 degree. And this is isosceles triangle. So this is 62 degree. This is also 62 degrees. Over here, all the angles in a quadrilateral add up to give us 360 degrees. So 110 degree, 110 degree plus 2x is equal to 360 degrees. So if you calculate it, 110 degree, 110 degree will give us 220. So 2x is equal to 360 minus 220. 360 minus 220 divided by 2. So each of these angles is 70 degree and 70 degree. If you see question number D, how we are going to find x? Firstly, I told you in the previous videos that angles on one line add up to give us 180 degrees. So this is going to be 70 degree. Angles on one line add up to give us 180 degrees. So this is going to be 180 minus 98, 82 degrees. And, and all angles in a quadrilateral add up to give us 360 degrees. So 70 degree plus 82 degree plus x plus 92 degree is equal to 360 degrees. So 70 plus 82 plus 92 give us 244 plus x is equal to 360 degrees. So 360 minus 244 will give us 116 degrees. So x is 116 degrees. Next is question number E. In question number E, all the angles in a quadrilateral add up to give us 360 degrees. So 3x plus 4x plus 2x plus x is equal to 360 degree. So 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 1, 10. So 10 x is equal to 360 degree. So x is equal to uh, 360 by 10. So it means x is 36. So 36, this angle will be x is 36 degrees. So 3 into 36 will be, this angle is 108. 4 into 36, this angle will be 144. 2 into 36, this angle will be 72 degrees and this angle will be 36 degrees. And if you add all of them, 36 plus 108 plus 144 plus 72, they will add up to give us 72 degrees. Angles in a quadrilateral add up to give us 360 degree. So here if we see that this is 90 degree, 110 degree, 150 degree. So 50 plus 110 plus 90 it gives us 250 degree. So 250 plus y, suppose this is angle y, 250 plus y is equal to 360 degree. 360 minus 240, sorry, 250 will give me 110. So this is 110 degree and angles on one line add up to give us 180 degree. So 110 plus x is equal to 180, 180 minus 110 is 70 degree. I hope you are understanding it. If you want to ask any question, you can ask in the comments. Next question is, uh, find the value of x in each of these figures. So here if you see that this is isosceles triangle. How I identified that? Because of these two small lines. 
so 70 degree so 180 minus 70 degree basically angles in a triangle add up to give us 180 degree so 180 is equal to 70 plus these two angles will be equal so 2x so 180 minus 70 divided by 2 this give me 55 and this is also 55 and angles on one line add up to give us 180 degree so 55 plus 55 180 minus 70 this will be 70 degrees okay so what will be x this is also an isosceles triangle so x will be also 70 degree because these two sides are equal now what about question number b in question number b this is 98 degrees and opposite angles in a this is parallelogram if you see this shape is in parallelogram opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal so this is also 98 degree and angles in one line add up to give us 180 degree so 180 minus 98 is um 82 now 180 minus 82 will give me 98 and this is isosceles triangle so this will be 98 divided by 2 98 divided by 2 will give me 49 degrees so this is 49 degrees and this is also 49 degrees so this was all about the questions of quadrilaterals. I will be uploading the past papers on quadrilateral also. So stay tuned. Do subscribe the channel learn all for, for the practice of more questions. Also click the notification uh, bell icon so to get the notification first. And if anybody of you want the private tutor, you can email me at uh, double a n s a r a s double o l four at the rate gmail dot com without any space. I will be uploading all the lectures on Edexcel IGCSE, GCSE, Cambridge IGCSE and also O levels, A levels, physics, biology, chemistry, all the lectures. So if anybody of you want any of the lecture, you can uh, watch the videos on the learn now. See you in the next video. Stay tuned. In next video, I will be discussing polygons. See you. Bye.